Port-au-Prince, capital city of Haiti, is seething under martial law as President Duvalier faces both internal insurrection and the threat of invasion from the Dominican Republic. Americans are being evacuated by the hundreds after the State Department declared the situation could endanger the lives of United States citizens there. Most of the evacuees are dependents of military and diplomatic personnel and are being flown out on six special flights to Miami. As is always the case, there are fond and tearful goodbyes. As the Americans leave, a mission from the Organization of American States is preparing to return to Haiti to see if it can resolve the differences between that country and the Dominican Republic. The dispute broke out when the Dominicans claimed Haiti had violated their embassy, where refugees from Duvalier's wrath had taken haven. As the plane loads of Americans land in Miami, they confirm stories that underground forces are preparing to move against Duvalier in mid-May. They doubt, however, that the man who has ruled Haiti as an absolute dictator for six years is going to step down without a fight. Meanwhile, U.S. Navy units are standing by near Haiti, a tinderbox that may flame at any moment. <laughs> 